How you going folks? You're welcome along to this week's episode of John's Garage. This week we're taking out a little pint-sized sports car. We're in a mini John Cooper Works GP and this is number 1448 off the production line. That's right folks, this is a limited series car and we're going to have a really in-depth look of it and of course as usual we'll take it off for a drive. So stay tuned folks. Okay, folks, so what is special about this particular Mini, okay? Well, let's first of all have a little chat about Minis in general, all right? We're all aware of the original Mini, which ran from 1959 up to 2000. That was originally designed by BMC, or British Motor Company, and, of course, the legendary designer Alec Isagonis, all right? But this isn't that. This is the Rebirth Mini from 2001. So this is an R53, and, of course, by this stage, Mini as a brand was now owned by BMW. This particular one is, we'll call it a run-out model, a run-out special, but it's a hell of a lot more than that, okay? So this particular one is a Mini Cooper S, John Cooper Works, GP. The GP at the end is very important because they were limited to a production run of 2,000 cars, okay? Also involved in this, so we have Mini, we have BMW, we have John Cooper Works, we also have Bertone, who took the final car off the production line took it to Italy and done some stylistic and I suppose a couple of modifications to improve the overall package. And we're going to have a good look at what all that is. Now, just for absolute clarity, there was 2,000 of these made. About 500 or so were sold in right hand drive form in the UK market. And each of those cars on the roof has its individual number of that 2000 production run. And this particular one that we're here with today is number 1448. I have to double check and read that, folks. So, on the outside here, how are you going to tell this is a John Cooper Works GP? Well, first of all, you've got these lovely red finisher, finishers on the wing mirrors. On top of that, if you look to the rear of the car, you can see this big carbon fiber wing. So that's kind of giving you a bit of a bit of notice about the intentions of this car. On the side, you also have these alloys, which are individual to this particular model only. Front fog lights are also removed and there's an extra little bit of cooling going on in there. Underneath the car, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you some of the modifications underneath, but there's lighter material used in the suspension arms and so on and so forth. Again, weight saving was the name of the game here, and just wait until you get inside to see some of the efforts at weight saving that uh, Mini did at the time. So let's have a look under the bonnet, folks. We'll have a look at some of the technical specs of the car, and I'll chat a little bit more to you. So let's jump right in under that bonnet and have a look at it. Okay, folks, you're joining me in under this beautiful clamshell bonnet. And of course, the clamshell bonnet was a real trademark of the R53. So let's have a little look at what's under here now. Okay, so fans of a Mini Cooper S will be familiar with what's under here. We have supercharger, we have a tuning box, we have all our different bits and pieces of plastic. But fans of the Mini Cooper S, this is not a Mini Cooper S. This is based on the Mini Cooper S, but it isn't a Mini Cooper S. This is the John Cooper Works GP. And what makes a GP a little bit different from the John Cooper Works and the Cooper S model uh, in general. Well, first of all, we've got a supercharger. All of them came with that, but they all didn't come with an intercooler. That's a bit different on this car, okay? Next up, what else do we have? We have the John Cooper Works tuning kit box fitted here, and there's a whole host of other little improvements that have been made across this engine. Now, comparing this to a Cooper S, which of course it is based on, Cooper S came with about 170 horsepower as standard, okay? The John Cooper Works, that improvement, okay, brought it to approximately 210 horsepower, but the GP had 215. Now that extra five horsepower mightn't sound like a huge amount, but that included a different map, a hell of a lot of suspension modifications, a lightness to the body, which wasn't there in the normal John Cooper works, still a light car, but it wasn't as light as this, and also a different mapping system in the engine. And of course, as I already said, the intercooler is different as well. Now, what impact does that car that have on, let's say, times, okay? Zero to 60 times at 60 miles an hour in this in a John Cooper Works will be 6.7 seconds. In a John Cooper Works GP, it's 6.5 seconds. But as I say, that doesn't tell the whole story because the whole story is a lot of chassis modifications and a lot of weight has been taken out of this car. This car is just under 1,100 kgs in weight, or sorry, 1,200 kgs in weight, but five kgs just below it. And that makes a huge improvement as well as the modification to the suspension and of course that lightness I've mentioned several times before already okay so let's close down this clamshell bonnet 
and jump inside and have a little look at the modifications, the differences that are in the interior, because there's quite a few. Okay, let's have a look, folks. Okay, folks, you're welcome to the inside of the John Cooper Works GP Edition Mini, okay? Now, what have we got in here? What's different? If you just look at it, it all looks pretty normal, pretty mini-like, but it's not, okay? Number one, you have the John Cooper Works carbon fiber gear knob. Number two, the dials here are no longer, we'll say glass or heavy plastics. They're lightened, okay, to save weight. Now, this particular car comes with one option. It was no cost option, but you didn't have to have it in because it would have saved weight had it not been there. But somebody took maybe, I suppose, a, a liking to uh, creature comforts. So we have aircon in this model, but it was a no cost option to delete it as well. What else do we have? Heated leather seats. These are Recaro seats as well. And again, these are standard to this particular model. They're leather, red stitching. They look great. And actually, I'm not going to lie, they're really, really nice to sit in. We have the standard mini steering wheel. We have the standard mini controls, switch gear and all that. But the last other thing that we have that's worth pointing out up here is the GP sticker, which again tells us which particular number off the production line this car was. And this was number 1448 or 1448. However, I said that was the last interesting thing there, but I kind of lied to you. That's the last interesting thing up front, but it's not the last interesting thing in this interior. If you turn your head slightly, if we have a look in the back, okay, and I'm probably going to play a video right now which shows me opening up a boot, you'll straight away see there's no rear seats, okay? Rear seats are gone out to save weight. They figured, hey, somebody's driving this car. They probably want it for the track. They probably want it for the feel. They don't want rear seats. So what they have put in there instead of rear seats is a great big strut brace between the suspension turrets, okay, which again improves the handling. And the other thing they've done, and I had to kind of figure this out with the owner, was this standard. There's real big red trims on both sides of it okay they're a little bit garish a little bit loud but they kind of lift the interior and they're just showing that this is different this is something else this is not the same as every other mini and of course the second you look in the back and see there's no seats you're going to know this is not the same as every other mini so folks with that we've had a look under the bonnet we've had a look in the inside i've shown you the back seat and this oh, let's call it it's not a back seat it's actually a massive boot so maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe the car is really practical okay and i never actually looked at it that way but anyway Let's get on with it. Let's go for a little drive. We'll see how it feels on the road. We'll get a sense for it. And of course, I'll let you know what that's like. Okay, so let's go, folks. Okay, folks, so you're very, very welcome along to this week's review. And we're in the Mini. We're driving it now, okay? So, how does it feel on the inside? Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm just starting off now. Bear in mind, I'm just, I've only gone about 10 miles an hour. It kind of looks like a normal Mini. It doesn't, um... Apart from knowing that the back seat isn't there, there's nothing particularly unusual going on here or that's sparking you off, except, oh, that supercharger whine. Okay, you can hear that straight away. So first of all, just creeping around, it feels like a normal Mini, but then you get out in the road and this puppy wants to go. It's basically the way I'll say it to you, okay? It's very eager, great pickup really really wants to go now the owner tells me and the owner would be i'd regard him as very well informed we'll put it that way um he reckons there's about five of these in ireland there i think he said there's two in dublin two in cork and one in the limerick area okay so not a huge amount of these around now it's lovely lovely alive chassis now for anyone who's driven a mini one of these particularly or 50 trees you will know that even in the Mini 1, the most basic of them, they feel great, they feel real peppy, real alive, they really have that go-kart feel down, they really feel good. And of course, then you go up to the Cooper S, it's that bit better package, better finish, of course, you have the supercharger, then you go up to the John Cooper Works, and you have even more power going on, you have more nice finishes, nice power, nice delivery, nice handling, then you get to something like the GP, and this is dedicated, folks, this has no rear seats so this is dedicated to being sporty okay so we'll say this is the most sporty of all the different special editions that came out this would have of course been a track car for many people now as i said in the introduction about 500 or so of these 450 to 500 i've gotten boat numbers when i've been researching up on these cars were imported and sold in right hand drive market in right hand drive form in the uk and a lot of those have since started to be exported out of the country to other markets such a demand for these cars recognized been say one of the best of the best um in terms of the r53 so values are already going up on these 
this folks is absolutely cracking to drive now the only rattle i can tell is just coming from the rear but that's standard enough in a mini of this age it wouldn't be out in there that would shock me too much but the condition is lovely there's no wear the owner has done a great job of maintaining this car and why wouldn't it it's only 51,400 and 38 miles on it to be exact okay so it's done nothing and great history and pedigree with this car and of course some of you guys might recognize this car it was sold by Dean Motors in Dublin of course not too long ago they would have the owner would have bought it there and very happy with the service and very happy with the car the stuff that's up going on there now i just want to point out before anyone says i think it's the second reference to dean motors i've made in the video i'm in no way connected to them okay it's just owners telling me the experience of buying cars from there and that's what they all report now what else do we have so sun visor sun visor sun visor okay so the car is so small that to bring that sun visor down and to try and flip it around it's just not going to happen okay it's just isn't space so just bang off your head and that goes right down to the upright windscreen now i was hoping to get a little bit more out of this car but of course everybody's driving slow this evening for some reason but anyway the interior is gorgeous okay fit finish in here is great um everything works everything falls to place really well and like the handling as i say folks this is just it's very responsive very very nice to go sounds great that supercharger wine i'm actually just gonna slow down here a little bit folks and we'll try and get that supercharger whining away for you okay let's hear it oh so you power the whole way through the rev range now for anyone who hasn't driven a car with a supercharger how would i describe it think of it as having a turbocharger right from the moment you accelerate it's always there it's always giving you a linear power and that's it okay and you get this lovely little roar little growl out of the engine with it okay and a little bit of i don't know whether the camera is picking that over the microphone's going to pick that up a little bit of backfiring there too which is cool as well um but anyway back to the supercharger whereas so supercharger is there the whole time through the rev range but a turbocharger kicks in at a particular rev so let's say 2000 rpm owners of Saabs back in the day Saab turbos Saab 900 turbos you would have known that around 2000 revs when you hit there all hell broke loose but there was nothing up to that owners of Audi Quattro same thing Porsche turbo 9 Porsche 911 turbo same thing they were dead 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 whereas this it's live 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 Woo! yeah folks that is nice that is nice now it's a little bit of a hooligan car in a way because it's so lively because it's that go-kart feel it kind of just wants you to keep pushing this keep enjoying it swing it into turns but of course that's the whole nature of this car it is meant to be a go-kart it's meant to be great crack on a track and even on any country road at any speed that's the idea it's all about the experience and everything but the other thing i will say about these minis this one in particular I, i'm going to say this given that it has the air con fitted has the cruise control has the heated leather seats and all that i, I read contemporary reviews of this car before i came and dr drove it and they all said oh you couldn't live with this car every day i'm, I'm actually going to contradict that i'm going to say i see no reason why you couldn't live with this car every day it's it's refined the ride is good despite it being quite stiff and quite hard it is actually quite a nice ride Okay, so I see absolutely no reason why somebody couldn't use something like this every single day of the year. Now, the owner doesn't, okay? Um, they use it very often, but they don't use it every day of the year, which is fine. That's completely understandable. You want to preserve a car like this um, so you can enjoy it whenever you want, okay? But it is absolutely gorgeous. Everything kept original exactly the way I like it. There's no modifications done to this car. This is as it left the factory, and boy... You know, you have the BMW underpinnings here. Your Rover have been involved in the design early on. John Cooper Works have really, really bred a lot of heat into this car. And those finishing touches by Bertoni, that carbon fiber wing on the back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's a really, really fun car. Um, fun at any speed. And that's the way I like it. You know, you don't have to drive fast to have fun. And you don't have to have the most power to have fun. 
pint-sized pint of fun. That's all we got here, okay? So, folks, listen, thank you all very much for joining me here in John's Garage this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Massive thank you to the owner for providing the car and allowing me to take it off for a spin and to film it. And, of course, if you want your car to feature on the channel, give me a text, okay? Contact me at the email underneath the video. Um, hit me up on Twitter and so on and so forth. And we'll see if we can get it done. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, 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 and don't forget to like, subscribe, and so on and so forth before you head off. Thank you very much, folks. Bye-bye.